Rosalia. We have arrived at our villa in Bali and I'm going to give you a really quick villa tour before the place gets messy. So what you see when you walk in, it's got like this huge open space, kitchen, living room area. And so strange that it just doesn't have a wall. So it's just literally like inside outside living space. Pool area, which looks lovely. The water feels like perfect temperature. Now we've actually got four bedrooms, even though there's only six of us staying here, like three couples. So this is like the bedroom that no one's staying in the downstairs one. And then if we head upstairs, these stairs I think it may be dangerous when we're drunk coming home, but if we head up here now, I'm gonna do a quick room tour in here. This is one of the bedrooms. Oh my God, it's so nice and cold in here. And all of the bathrooms are literally so nice. They've got these like little pebbles on the floor. They're so nice. And then I am a bit worried about the mozzies though because of all of the way that it's open plan downstairs. This is mine and Stephen's room. Our friends kindly let us choose which room we wanted seeing as we, well, we, I organized everything, that's me. And look at this bathroom. Like, I'm sorry. Look at this. It is warm in here, however, I will say that there's no air con in this room, but how nice is the bathtub? Shower's obviously just a shower, but like, I'm sorry, but the wow factor when you walk in and it's just like that. And then it is dark now, but then we've got the view of the little balcony. Let's see if I can get Stephen jumping in the pool. Right, he's gonna get pushed out, isn't it? <laughs> Woo! Nice. Yeah, fresh. Oh, they say drink all this water. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you the yeah. And then just headed to the final bedroom. Erin's just sat in here. This is the final one. Again, balconies that go out to the pool. Say hi. And then the bathrooms. Again, the bathrooms in this place are literally so nice. And this villa that we're staying in wasn't even that expensive. Like, I feel like it was really reasonably priced considering, like, this is literally insane. Yeah, super excited. We are just going to get ready. It's actually really late. It's like 11 o'clock or actually like maybe even half 11, but we are planning to go out tonight. So I'm going to just quickly whip on a non-casual outfit. Yeah, that is the plan. I'm so excited. Good morning from our first official proper day in Bali. Stephen is already chillaxing <laughs> with his stuff of Pringles. And actually this morning we've got a floating breakfast coming, I think, so. That should be coming at 9.30, so we will be doing that when that gets here. I think the other guys may still be asleep. I think I could hit down and Kira talking, but uh, Russell and Erin are... Oh, that's still really zoomed in. Russell and Erin are both real late, like, lion people, so they are still asleep. Yes, I'm so excited. Today, we're actually going to Finn's, so that's the plan for today. So morning, I think we'll be quite chilled. We've got to be at Finn's before 3 o'clock. We've got a bed booked. And that is kind of it. I'm actually not sure. I need to Google whether you can bring a camera into Finns because I have a feeling that some of the beach clubs you're not allowed to bring cameras in. So if I don't bring this camera in, I might see if I can get away with like my GoPro or something like that. But yes, we will catch you up probably when we are doing a floating breakfast. Just just done. We've got our floating breakfast. I hope you can see. I hope you guys can see from there. But yes, they just brought it out. I'm so excited. Let me show you really quickly what they've bought for us. So here it is. We've got like pretty much what looks like an ish of like kind of like a fry up, scrambled eggs and toast, these little potato wedges, avocado, mushrooms. This is slowly floating away from me. Some juice, loads of pastries, loads of fruit. I'm so excited. Seems so wet. Is it shallower down there? No. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to. It's too it's too deep for me to stand, so we're gonna have to, I think, like sit around here and eat it. Oh, so cute. Smile. So we are finished with our floating breakfast and we are just about to start getting ready for fins and I'm so excited. Which is meant to be like one of the best beach clubs in the world, supposedly. So we are gonna give that a test today. We've booked a bed. I'm super excited. I'm just having a drink. I've got these over here, which are um, 
smell off ice pink lemonade they're so good they taste like that pink lucozade lemonade if anyone remembers that so having a drink that to get ready it's so hot and humid outside i'm not going to put heaps of makeup on but just like a little something i've already got some sun factor on my face i need to get some on my body and then get my bikini on and get going it also feels so strange i'll just pop on and quickly say this by the way to be drinking again like this is obviously the first time i've had a drink in four for we i really enjoyed being off the drink but i am now super excited to just enjoy myself have fun in the sun with my friends and have a few little drinks Yay. catch you in a second when i'm all ready and just like that we are ready to go to the beach club i've got my bikini on i've got my makeup done i've got my sunnies on these are my little new sunnies and then i'll show you the bikini real quick Excuse all the mess, but this is the little bikini. I just need to throw on a cover up over the top and then I am ready to go. Now, unfortunately, I can't bring the camera to films. You're not allowed to bring any video equipment. So it's going to be phone content from here on out. So we will catch you in films. <laughs> Fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win your life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change in my mind. Dan Russell, how's the house sushi? Yum yum yum. So we're trying to avoid anything that can be washed in water, so we have picked out all of the rocket. <laughs> And this is what's remaining in our little prosciutto burrata wraps. And I don't feel no shame, it's a mood you lack I go crazy, nah, I ain't lazy Track after track, I work on this sh daily Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me hazy About to unpack all these shit I've been chasing I've got visions in my head Like memories after death To be a legend instead Of something you can forget I'm living It is Saturday, I had the best time Like, it was just so much fun It was a really long day, that's like one thing I would say It was just... It was a long day to just be sat at kind of like in one space on the bed like I, I got i hate to say it, but i got a little bit bored towards the end so then like i just went over we were sat in the vip park so i just went over to like the other main section which was like heaps busier and like was a dance floor and stuff like that um and so random right but this guy comes up to me and he goes you're from bondi aren't you and i was like well i'm not from bondi but i live in bondi and he's like you go to bondi fitness first <laughs> like how random like how does somebody just like, i mean i did like, last night I, I didn't recognize him but i obviously must see him in the gym quite regularly anyway that was a pretty pointless and irrelevant story but it's currently it's super early it is 7 30 and we are out in the garden i've got my little eye patches on to help well i don't really know what i'm planning for them to do but i just thought it would be nice to do a little bit of self-care whilst we're away on this trip everybody else is asleep i am the early riser as normal between us there were six of us we paid i think it was like just under 100 aussie dollars for the vip thing and i would say it was probably worthwhile and then our, our bill so all of that money that we paid for the actual bed could go towards food and drink so that was fine oh, i did have a beef tartare risky move i know because obviously not like raw meat is one of the things that you should avoid if you're trying to not get sick but I thought it would be fine so I tried it and anyway my, my stomach feels fine so far so touch wood so far we're, we're good but the bill at the end we ended up spending another 400 300 no for another 400 dollars so in total like it wasn't that was an expensive day but I mean like we did whatever we wanted oh my god also look at these tan lines I fucking hate tan lines um but yes I think I'm the only one up. I want somebody else oh I can hear a door Opening and closing. Here it is. First victims to the morning. Egg. <laughs> How are you guys feeling? Yeah, I feel 
I feel all right, but you know what, I am. Um, I, well, before we went to bed, I like tried to down like as much water as I could. And then I woke up a couple times in the night and every time I woke up, I was like, just trying to drink. We have just come out of the villa to do some shopping, but we thought we'd have come and do a quick food break first. So in true English style, we have come to Subway instead of getting any local cuisine. I'm actually not hungry, so I'm not gonna eat anything, but these guys are all getting subs. We're gonna eat in here. It's so nice and air in here and it's so warm outside today, like roasting. So I'm gonna do that. I've also seen a fake, pra a fake Prada like, beach bag, which I think I'm gonna buy because at the moment I've only got this little like tassie cotton on beach bag. So I think I'm gonna pick up that little fake Prada one and see what else we can shop with and buy. So yeah, it's nice to get out the villa for a bit. I think some of the team are feeling a little bit worse for wear. So we'll have to kind of suss it out, but wait for these guys to eat, shop and have some drinks. Hello, how are you, brother? Something, brother? Hi. Okay. I don't think the pink one's about it. Right, start haggling then. <laughs> <laughs> million. 40 million? Yes. Oof. Uh, maybe just get the real one then. <laughs> 40 million. Yeah. How much you wanna? Come on. My brother from another father, mother. Yeah. yeah. Different father, different grandmother. How much? <laughs> how much, my? I thought it's not for me. It's, she, she's the how one much? you gotta be. How much? 200? More than 200. Little bit more. I'll Actually, give you 200 right now and we'll take it. I'll give you 30. 300 for you. 200. 300. 200. No. 95 Pilamo, please. Good for you, good for me. No, the guy good over there is literally doing 200. There's a guy selling a blue yeah. one for 200. Yeah. yeah, we just like that one better, but it's all good. We can go just to get the blue. 25, please. Come on. Okay, 22. Only 22. 20. Oh, well, 22. In the middle. 20. 22. Yeah, we'll just go get the 21 over there. 22. Only just for you. <laughs> I like uh, the blue one anyway. Yeah. yeah. Just want a blue one, Millie. It's all good. Thanks, mate. Thank you. 22. 21. <laughs> 21 is yes. rooted back in. Surely you, Surely you can just 21. do 20 because we don't have change. Uh, He'll give you change, Millie. Have you got change? Can the budget stretch? Yeah. I've only got 200. <laughs> Look at that smile. He would have come yeah. down to 200. <laughs> no, he would have been. That's what we've done. <laughs> there you go. 200. Oh, thank you very oh, much. Oh, thank you. Yay. Thank you. Team one. Thank you. Have a good one. Real Prada bag secured for 20 bucks. How many shot glasses do we want then? 14? Or... This five. She do not need that. Five centimeter, yes. Uh, five centimeters? Yes. Oh, that's <laughs> way more than five centimeters. Oh, that's five. Oh, that's five. Oh. I'm five, yeah. It's 13. <laughs> yeah, I'd say I'm a 32 myself, so it's pretty, uh, pretty average. That is. Stan, first drink of the day. Kira, <laughs> first drink of the day. Millie, first drink of the day. My name is Brian Duncan, and this is my <laughs> second drink of today. Ross here, first drink of the day. Oh, yeah. And first drink of the day. Beautiful. We've got the gang to grab our Ian potato head. Everyone's just ordering some food. Here is one of the little pools. We didn't book a bed or anything here, so this is actually just like the free section. But yeah, look how nice this looks. Water. I'm absolutely broken as well. I don't have a towel with me, but I do have a bikini on so I can probably get in this water. Like this looks super shallow, but this is absolutely lovely. Goes down to the beach. We didn't keep you guys updated on our little uh, drinks thing, but I think we're on our fourth drink. I'll let Russell take the reins for that one. And then, three, two, one, seven. It's going to go seven. I changed my mind last minute. <laughs> I went seven yesterday. We just picked up a pizza. Go for him. <laughs> we just picked up a pizza. I wanna go home, go for a quick swim, then get ready. And then we can sit by the pool and like. Sit by the pool and get ready, yeah? No, we're not ready. We're not ready yet, bro. He's on the left. We actually can't be late tonight because the table's only held for 15 minutes. We're gonna head back to the house and got ready. We still will be there for six. I say we should try to leave by like half five. This is me after my, what do you reckon this is? Four or five? Five, fifth drink? Seventh, maybe? Aaron? Dive for the cart. 
It's me after what, seven beers maybe? <laughs> Feeling good though. Third drink. <laughs> Probably seven. <laughs> spicy. For the spicy mark. <laughs> Oh, yeah, pick up. What do you mean? You've just gone from two to one to ten to one. It has to be five. Come on, five to one. You didn't think I was going to accept it. If the reverse is on, it has to be four. Would you accept two? Oh, I would accept two to one. Could you be confident? Oh, so we've got an odds on as if somebody has to jump into the pool naked between these two. Four to one. Okay, <laughs> what should we do? <laughs> do one to one. one eh? Do one to one on this season. I don't want to take it here. I go for it. I don't understand it. So if we both land on the same number, um, you've got to do it, whatever it is. So I'd say you, for example, like how much is it down that cocktail? You'd be like three to one. Then we go one, two, three, and then if we, if you say two and I say two, you have to drink the cocktail. Oh. But if you say something different, and like, what's a reverse rule? You can then other person. Means if I don't get it, yeah. then it's you go again for the other person. Wait, somebody's getting it. Yeah, like as simple as that. Four to one. Ten one. Ten one. It's pretty ruthless. It's not ruthless. Putting the pool naked. I got them. Ten to one. Pull a pool. Ten to one. Russell, count us in. Not that pool. No, not this pool. No, no, no. The one. Oh, why is this pool? Three, two, one, six. Yes. I was gonna say seven to. Yeah. It's gonna be weird. <laughs> Delivery. No, no, no. Welcome to Paradise. Uh, thank you. Oh, I think this is Aaron's. Sorry. Camera. These people ain't got work for them. What did you say to the camera? I don't know. What do you mean the camera? Oh! How much like a Peter now? Yeah, we're doing your drink. Have you ever seen that guy from the uh, North? Oh, this drink is absolutely rock and feel. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try it. <laughs> Let's try it. Thanks for sending in delivery podcast. It's <laughs> funny. Like that was not me. That was tears. That was not me. Like, we were literally talking about tears. That's why you don't go to the bottom. That literally, that was literally not me. I didn't. I'm not. You literally just drank in their butt. What was that? 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 You look like someone just pissed from the sky. Like someone just spread. Ah, it was you. No, I get it. I get it. I get it. I've been raving. Was that? That was not me. I was looking. I was looking at that with you. I think it's a bird. It was some bird shit. It was a bird. I am going to keep this clip short and sweet because we've got music on the background and I do not want to get copyrighted. But here is today's bit. This little yellow set from Vienna Boutique. We're just waiting for everyone to be ready, and then we are going to Motel Lex Cola to have a few pre drinks. And I'm ready for our final night in Bali. This is our <laughs> This is us after our eighth drink.
This is my last drink of tonight. <laughs> well, last of my first drink. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what year did the water have? Just... <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. It is our final day in Bali, which is so sad. Last night was really fun, but I actually felt like I was getting a little bit sick, like I'm getting a bit of a stuffed nose and a sore throat. So I stopped drinking actually pretty early on, and then we ended up just coming back to the villa at maybe like midnight after watching the football. But this is today's outfit. This skirt 100% needs an iron, but I am not going to do that, so I'm just going to go out <laughs> with this crease. But yeah, this is their little outfit of the day. We're just about to go and head for some lunch, I think, and then we're going to just come back and really just. Jesus, I'm making a mess. Really just spend the day like chilling at the villa. Our flight is this evening at 10, so we'll have to leave for the airport, maybe like six or seven-ish. So yeah, that's the plan. I think everyone's feeling a little bit sad that it's the last day here. We're just back from lunch and I felt like, do you know sometimes when you have been drinking and then you go out for a big meal and everybody just like, slumps i feel like that's what just happened so we are just back at the villa we went to the shop to go buy some drinks like to be honest i'm really not drinking very much today i've got like literally a couple of smell of ices and that's it and we need to pack up and then at six we're gonna leave for the airport so plan now is we're just gonna go down to the pool in a second i need to just get changed out of this and put a bikini on and then go chill by the pool i need to get in the water because it's roasting and i feel like getting in the water will help me feel better that is the plan. We've had such a good trip so far. Like well, I say so far, we're almost at the end of it, but I've had such a good time here. We obviously only came for a really short period of time. And at first I thought, oh, maybe that's not gonna be long enough, but it's actually been perfect. Like I think that being here for much longer, we really would have started struggling, especially with the drinking, especially because I haven't been drinking. Like this has felt like a lot, like a lot, a lot. So, and I barely actually even drank yesterday because I started feeling sick, so that's me i think i'm just getting old because i just can't hack it anymore like i can't stay up late i get so tired uh, although to be fair yesterday it was mainly just that my throat was so sore 
and I knew that if I kept drinking it would just continue to get worse but yes I am going to pop on a bikini now I head downstairs I really need to pack and then we've got our flight home we're actually we're not sitting together on the plane so just Stephen and I sat together like each couple are just by themselves so I'm not gonna lie that actually should be nice sorry guys I've been watching that but it means that we can just have a good sleep it's an overnight flight so I've got my eye mask and everything and just have a really good sleep maybe read a bit of my book and hopefully feel good when we land in Sydney. We land at 6.15 and then I have zero plans for Monday. So Monday's gonna be like chill, unpack, relax. We just got Netflix again, just subscribe to Netflix. So going to, I've got loads of shows on there that I wanna catch up on. So it's gonna be a very unproductive day, but I cannot wait. Uh, Russell, what was your favorite part of the holiday? Best part of the holiday was the end. Because we the got end. to leave. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long weekend. Steven? Now the best part oh, has oh. probably been <laughs> Has to be the shot. The shot. Did... That was pretty good. Burger taking the shot. Yeah, yeah. Burger taking a flaming hot Cheeto shot was brilliant. Favorite part of the holiday? Ah, fins. Fins was really good. Too. Yeah. Kira. Probably yeah. Burger the shot. <laughs> yeah. Aaron. Favorite part of the holiday? Favorite part. Fins Beach Club was fab. That's. Fins was unreal. Yeah, actually, so I would say Fins as well, but I feel like three of us can't all say Fins. That'd be a lie. <laughs> um, I actually really specifically about Fins enjoyed that steak tartare. Fins was good. Fins. Yeah. It was really good. It was so nice. It was so good. Any subscribers want to go to Bali? I recommend Fins. I already said that to the vlog. We would all recommend Fins, and and especially the VIP section. I wish we'd have gone for the latest sitting though in the Mexican. We should have, we should have gone for the eight o'clock. Yeah, yeah, what was your favorite part about the trip? We haven't really talked about it much, but where's Big push <laughs> Russell in the pool and Fins? We actually, the vlog actually hasn't heard anything yeah. about that if you wanna, if anyone wants to give wow. her a story time. <laughs> where where, where, where Russell claims he wasn't fuming. If you have got a really good guy that does nose breakage repairs. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, as you were. Oh, that's still up. <laughs> I'm on holiday, Dan. Mind your business, yeah? If I can. No, but you jump over it. Easy. Use it, let's go. Cool. <laughs> what did you think? <laughs> <laughs> it was not that way I went out of it. He's actually raging. Yeah. He's raging. <laughs> I, don't know if, I don't know if Dan's the least easiest to wind up now because he's a fucking human now. <laughs> The time has finally come that we've got to start packing. I'm so sad. I don't want to leave. However, I definitely am. I think I mentioned earlier, I'm definitely getting sick and I can feel myself getting like nasally and like a sore throat and things like that. So it probably is time to get back and just relax a little bit, take it easy for a few weekends. So yeah, that is what is going on. But yeah, it's had the best time in Bali. We'd definitely come back. But if we were to come back, I think that We'll probably a spend longer time here here and b like not just stay like we're kind of right now between changu and seminyak and i think i would come back and i would probably go to like ubad and um Uluwatu, you know just travel around a bit see a bit more of the actual country because one thing i would say is that i find that because you're driving like we have had a driver so you were getting a car from like a to b all the time so you don't really like experience much of the place really i guess because you are just in a car going to the next place that you're going to and getting out again like you're not really like wandering around very much so yeah it would be ow, it would be nice to see a bit more of the country so i have like cracked this nail all the way down and it's like so painful like the crack is really deep and i'm just waiting for it to get ripped on something and it's gonna really hurt but anyway not relevant to this video at all i might close off this vlog now if you stuck around till the end thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel and yes i had the best time with all of my pals so if they've made it to the end thank you so much for a lovely holiday and i look forward to doing it again soon